In today's video, I'm gonna give you seven ways to improve your flexibility and get your old ass stretched out. Let's check it out. What's up guys, Frank Daniels here. Today we are talking flexibility and how we're gonna help you get looser. First thing I can do for you is offer you my free core training report. And if you didn't know, the moment your core gets stronger, it improves joint health and flexibility immediately. You can download my nine killer core tips by clicking this button right here. Mobile device users, head down below, click the first link in the description. Now, what's the big problem with flexibility? Quite simply, if you don't use it, you will lose it. So we gotta improve it. And you know things are getting messed up when your seven year old is beating you in a game of pickup basketball, and now you gotta take off three days of work just to recover from it. So, let's give you seven ways to improve your flexibility. Number one, acknowledge it. That's right, acknowledgement is the first step in the process, basically, we're not living in the 60s anymore. There's a lot of information and technology has shown us that we gotta move our asses. And if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. So if your joints are hurting and you're sitting around stiff, the first thing you need to do is acknowledge the fact that you're probably gonna have to do something different to improve it. Number two, self-myofascial release. Self-myofascial release is just a fancy terminology for self-massage or massage therapy if you can afford to hire one every day. But if you don't have that, then you're gonna have to use some tools for self myofascial release. One of these, one of these, or one of these. Don't pretend like you haven't seen them. You know you walked into the gym, did a couple shoulder circles, and went straight to the pec deck. It's not how you're gonna get more flexible. Grab a tool, do some self massage, dig in. You'll get looser. Number three, diaphragmatic breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing takes you out of a state of high tension takes the brain and the body from a fight or flight scenario and gets it more relaxed. It's gonna be easier to be more flexible from a relaxed state. So basically what that means is before any training session, take some time, about 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, to lie on the floor face up with your knees bent and heels flat on the floor and take deep belly breaths just to relax the nervous system and improve your flexibility. So deep diaphragmatic breathing for men means Breathe into your balls. And on the flip side of things, ladies, for you, this means breathe into your number four. Breathe in the stretch. So what you wanna do is continue to breathe in the end ranges of motion of a stretch. What the heck does that mean? Well, that's just the part that hurts. So when you're deep into a stretch, you'll notice it gets a little bit painful, and you probably also notice that you might start holding your breath. And if you hold your breath, that's not gonna improve stretching because the brain perceives fight or flight. However, if we continue to keep a normal breathing pattern when we're in the deep or end range of motion of the stretch, we'll improve flexibility. Number five, daily flexibility work. So the days of showing up to your workout and doing a stretching routine, or doing a half-assed stretching routine, or not really stretching at all and working out, are not gonna cut it. So if your joints hurt and your muscles are tight and your body is stiff, the only way you're gonna improve that is to create a daily routine that helps improve your flexibility. So a 10 to 15 minute circuit, at least once or twice a day, is necessary for you to be able to improve this and maintain your joint health over a lifetime. Number six, understanding the difference between passive stretching and active stretching. So for passive stretching, I'll use the hamstring for example. It's very commonplace for someone to grab a band and wrap it around their foot and then pull their leg towards them. Okay, that's a passive stretch. Or they'll have a partner come and push their leg into them. Once again, that's a passive stretch. That is not active. And for active stretching, I'll use the chest for example. I can go in a doorway and use the doorway to stretch out my chest, right? Common pec stretch. But that's passive because I'm using the doorway to do it. I quite honestly can use do the same stretch by just opening up my chest muscle here and using the muscles on the back of my shoulder to really pull that open. So I still get the stretch, but now I'm dictating to my body that we're gonna be able to use this new range of motion as opposed to using some type of external force, which will not dictate that same thing to the body that, hey, we're gonna use this new flexibility that we just created. There's obviously a lot to this tip right here, and hey, if you're good, leave a comment below. Tell me you wanna see more exercises active versus passive, I might just show you. And number seven, focus on the key joints. Those joints being ankles, hips, shoulders, and upper back, or what we call thoracic spine. So basically you need self-massage and stretching techniques that are centered around those key areas, targeting all the muscle groups that surround 
those particular joints. Now you may have other areas that you need to focus on as well, but these joints are critical in the overall performance of the body. They are afforded large ranges of motion, and when we lose that range of motion, it's definitely gonna cause issues in the rest of the kinetic chain. Basically, you feel stiff, you feel old. So when you zero in on these joints in particular, it actually helps clear up a lot of the other issues that you may feel in other places. Big point here, guys, is you wanna treat your body like you treat your automobile. So you wouldn't dare drive your automobile around for thousands of miles without getting the tire pressure checked, the oil changed, the fluids changed, and doing the basic maintenance that it takes to make that automobile perform at a high level for a very long time. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So if you wanna improve your joint health and improve your level of stiffness, you just gotta work on it, it is what it is. If you guys want more help improving your flexibility, you can do that with a strong core. I've got my nine killer core tips report, free, downloadable instantly by clicking this button right here. Mobile device users head down below, click the first link in the description. As always, if you really appreciate this video, I'd love for you to head below, like, leave a comment, tell me exactly what you wanna see next, and of course, subscribe to this channel right here. Guys, enjoy improving your flexibility. Your grandmother's out running you. It's embarrassing. It's tight, muscles are tight. It's restricted, it's tight. It's, it's, you, and feet flat on the fight or flight scenario, which takes your, which, which takes your, which, so creating a routine for yourself, dairy, 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 Love dairy. Now you have... <laughs>